Over there. Darn it, they found us. Sky bandits. How'd they? They must be the ones who attacked uh, or knocked out the captain. Get them. No choice then. Nap time, suckers. Be melee only. Alright. Oh, I was gonna say, hey, let's try out a craft, but he doesn't uh he doesn't have two hundred much more call it's like I thought he did. Why are you targeting that one? Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. you're blinded. I guess that's acceptable. Home chick's going to die. Actually has a decent amount of HP. Let's see. I'm the damage dealer here. All these other guys are just HP sponges. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 1400 damage. Oh, just great. All right, let's let's bring the ruckus a little bit here. What a jerk. Down for the count. That won't be the last of them. I'll hold them here. I'll get the bobcat ready for launch. Right. We'll just be a minute. We're totally gonna fight, Mueller. There is no way we're not. Goes that? Why aren't you boarding? The brothers can get the bobcat in the air just fine. I'm gonna stay here and back you up. Ooh. No buts. Uh, you know, you try acting all cool, but you're kind of nearsighted. Despite the whole blarg emotional distance, you are my chest piece thing, uh, you've been really helping us out a lot. You really think I, we, 
are just gonna dump you here and run at this point? Well, I do think I'm a fairly good judge of character, especially with someone who wears their heart on their sleeve, like a certain bandit I know. Hey, who wears their heart on their sleeve? I could say the same about you, Busta. I thought it was a bit noisy in here. There he is. What? The Capua Sky Bandits. What perfect timing you have. And he's with you, no less. You remembered me. What the? Ah, oh, crap. He's an Erebonian army guy. Or what's an Erebonian army guy doing here? And wait a second, you know him? We've met, briefly. You're here to collect the ship prior to the pact signing, I suspect. Exactly. To be perfectly frank, I could not care less. Or, yeah, I could not care less. Uh, if you take that ship and fly it to the moon. Now that I'm here, however, I cannot simply let you pass. I'm going to introduce myself properly. I am Major Mueller Vander of the Imperial Army's 7th Armored Division. Oh man. Be careful, this won't be a normal fight. I'd say that's due more to you, Joshua, regardless. On your guard. Oh man. Oh man, that was some bull crap right there. Are we are we just gonna lose like that? <laughs> I can't even see how much HP the guy has. Twenty thousand. 21,000? Am I supposed to win? Oh man. Um, we're gonna have to play this smart. Alright. He's smarter than me. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. At least we do competitive damage still. Alright, man. Getting a little lucky here. I need this mute to go away. Like, very quickly. Nah, you're just gonna get one shot, little lady. I don't know if I should let her die or not. I guess I won't for right now. No harm in keeping her alive. Gosh. I don't think I'm supposed to win. But I'll probably get an achievement if I do. defaulted to that one S break. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. I get 
There's a crit coming up, but what are the chances I get it? I guess we could wait. While we wait, we can use a little bit of the... Uh, a little bit of this. That's why I went for that agility. Hey, get that lead damage in. Agility. He's gonna mute us again, so we don't want to do that yet. Okay, I need to go right after him. Perfect. Oh, she is dead. Goodbye. Uh, this was incredibly risky to do, actually. If he gets a turn, yeah. Could actually die here. Right. She who dwells above was looking over us. Har, har, har. There's a strength plus 50 coming up. Need to make sure he doesn't get that. Strike. Alright, returning the leak damage. It's a good thing we have uh, that EP cut. They really uh, prepared us for this fight. Better get an achievement off this. Although I'm guessing she needs to live to get the achievement. That's that. Let's move out. Did not get an achievement. Uh, what the heck? Uh, go down already, you sack of master level swords play. A uh, sword play, and your last name is Vander. I think I can guess who Olivier must be in that case. We're discussing identities. Yours was certainly a surprise. Joshua Ashtray. Uh, lost child of Hamill. What? Huh? As we thought. Uh, I guess... I guess even that idiot's guesses can be right sometimes. Uh-oh. Joshua? May I ask then, Major Vander? How do you know about that? Well, you do have a killer's gleam in your eye, after all. Uh, I'll give you all I have, then, Enforcer. Wait, no. <clears throat> oh, Joshua Ashtray. And it lives! Oi, Josette, Joshua, hop on! Right. Joshua, come on, what are you doing? Stop them! Whoa, what a photo op! <laughs> Get Hawk and Gate on the line.
Oh, I think I've seen that boy somewhere before. What does this mean? Gotta tell Nile. I wonder which of us really uh, escaped here. I'm greener than I thought, I suppose. Even so, Hamel, hmm. Seems I have no choice but to help him after all. All right, Vander. All right, all right, Mueller. Bring in the ruckus. Can't believe this. This is definitely Joshua. Tossing on a scarf, trying to look cool, huh? I hope you're taking care of yourself. Joshua really is still in the burrow. What's he doing helping those bandits? Why won't he... Why won't he let me help him? Joshua, you idiot. Doing crazy stuff like attacking an army base. And your eyes are so cold, like when we first met. And, and. Hey, Kryson. Uh, you have a break from reading yet? Uh, not really. But my, my voice is getting more accustomed to it. I did, a uh, did seven hours yesterday. And so I think that's a, a good sign that I got, I can keep going and not necessarily need a break, but, you know, who knows. Uh, and why do you look like you're getting along so well with that stupid tomboy, Estelle? Oh man, am I going to remember? I, I already forgot that other point that I wanted to write down. Uh, Shara, uh, sorry. I thought I heard your dulcet tones uh, from all the way across the ship. That sounds like an Olivier thing to say. Uh, I was worried when you just wandered off like that, Estelle. What's wrong? Air sickness finally getting to you? Uh, no, don't worry. I'm not sick or anything, really. Well, alright. Ah, the weather is fantastic today. To think there are people plotting dark deeds under a peaceful sky like this. Goddess, what fools these mortals be. Yeah. Estelle, honey, you don't need to suffer alone, all right? I won't ask what you talked about with Nile, but always remember you have friends you can rely on. And you'll always, always have me. All right, Sherazard's going to die. <laughs> uh, of course, if you really want to sort it out on your own, that's fine. But every one of us wants to help you if we can. Don't forget that. Shara? That's all, don't worry. It'll be a while before we reach Bose. The ship will be stomping and rolling on the way, though, so remember to get in your, your seat before then. I will. Now, back when you played these games, you did read everything out loud? Yeah, I... The, the first game I didn't, which... Uh, I guess kind of set me up... Oh, oh, you didn't read them. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't read anything for the first game, and I feel like it set me up, because I felt like I could read it. And, and and now that I'm going into this game, like when I first started out, I, mean, I haven't read anything in like at least three, maybe four games, maybe maybe even more than that. I, I'd have to take a look again, but uh, I was in over my head. I'm getting used to it now, though. It's, it's coming back to me. Relying on others, huh? Maybe speaking to everyone for a bit will clear my head. Oh, of course you would say that. We could probably probably ride into the next chapter. Uh, I think now that you've had some games in between, uh, you would be okay. Oh, you didn't realize? Yeah, uh, you would be okay with doing it. Um, that's that's probably what I'm gonna do for this game. Although now that like now that I'm kind of in the groove of things, I've actually considered maybe it won't be necessary. Although I'll most likely play a game in between, at least one game in between this and the third one. Hello, Estelle. Chloe. Uh, so this is uh, so this is where you've been hiding. Yes, it's a lovely view, isn't it? I'm guessing uh, you're on one of your airship walks. Yeah, kind of felt the need. What's happened to Joshua? What? How did you thought so? 
Oh, that was what Niall wanted to talk to you about. Did you just bait me, princess? Well, I am the possible heiress to a nation. Alright, we got crows outside and they're being obnoxious. Uh, let's just say I'm well educated in secret royal bargaining tactics and leave it at that. I'm no match for you, really. Yeah, it's about Joshua, alright. So Joshua is safe, and even still in the borders of Liberal. But there's some element to it that means you can't be happy about it. Is that about it? That is it, isn't it? Chloe, you aren't a princess. You're a freaking mind reader. You ask me. Uh, you ask me. You've got this queen thing in the bag. Thanks. Still, that's good Joshua is safe. Even knowing he's okay is a relief. Yeah, I was happy to find uh, find that out too, but... Oh my gosh, these crows are so loud. Estelle? Uh, Chloe, you remember when, uh, when we went to arrest Dalmor, right? And how Joshua responded when Dalmor threatened me with that gun? I do, yes. If I said that Joshua's eyes are like that right now, what would you think? Oh, I'd... Sorry, Chloe. I shouldn't uh, really drop questions like that on you without context. No, it's fine. I can understand at least a little why you're so worried. Yeah. And I'm um, on that note. That's absolutely in no way related at all. I, uh, like, yeah. Totally has nothing to do with anything. Totally hypothetical, but... What would you say if I said... Uh, while I'm here wearing my butt off over him, he's with another girl. How old? About the same age as us. To answer this hypothetical question, I would find myself uninterested in any excuses Joshua would have to make. I know, right? It'd be totally out of line. Certainly. Just what are you thinking, Joshua? Yeah, my current plan is to have Olivier sing, him, uh, sing at him for over an hour, or for an hour, and then we'll hear everything. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. I feel a little bit better now. You're welcome, Estelle. I'm glad I could help you. Once I get my head, uh, once I get my head on a bit straighter, I'll tell everyone what's happened. Can you keep quiet until then? Of course. I think I'll head back to my seat. Okay, see you later. Gotta be honest, you have a good voice for reading stuff out loud. You know, pe people tell me that, but like, I have like two voices. One of them's like a deeper voice, and the other one is like. Not so deeper voice. I get the deeper voice when I start reading, though. So, whatever. I appreciate the compliment. Thank you very much. People say I should go into radio. It would be cool if I went into radio, but I, you know, can't go into radio. I see. No, actually, the reporter came to talk to Estelle. Estelle seemed bothered after they spoke. I did wonder what. Well, that answers that. Yes, that's fine. We needn't report anything to the Royal Army yet. I imagine he has predicted all of this anyway. I called it perfectly, no? Well, to be honest, uh, it was it was little more than a wild guess. But I suppose even jokes can be true, sometimes, even the bad ones. I know, I know, you needn't raise your voice so, my friend. Regardless, uh, you're to see our preparations the moment you return to the Imperial Capital. Yes, so that he might intervene, if possible. As always, you have my special thanks. I think in general you have a calm tone. I, I definitely, you know, back in uh, in high school, um, my one of my English teachers asked me to to read something, and I started reading it, and he interrupted me after I don't know uh, about thirty seconds or so. He was like. Could you put some more, you know, like emotion into it? Can you, can you just not, not speak so monotonely? And, uh, gosh. And I proceeded to read the thing in exactly the same way. And I never had to read a single thing in that class ever since then. I know that's not really related to what you're talking about, but that's what I was reminded of. Ah, Joshua, to think you'd be a match for Mueller. I suppose I should have expected nothing less from one of Ouroboros' chosen. Still, that's one guess I dearly wish hadn't been true. What's true now? 
Estelle, what the heck are you whispering about down here? You and... Olivier, who are you talking to? Whatever could you mean? Do you truly believe I would engage in a secret soiree with a woman other than my Estelle? I can only pray, but come on. I know I heard you talking with someone. Oh my, you heard me talking to myself, didn't you? Or did you? Talking to yourself? Well, talking to myself like a madman wouldn't quite be accurate. I was going over lines from a play I once performed in. Uh, herein, I was the leading man. Play lines, but why here? Our destination, Bose, is the closest city in La Burl to my homeland. As we draw closer to it, I must confess I feel the pull of homesickness. I fear that memories of home cannot help but tumble from my mouth. Okay. Do you think I have cottage cheese for brain or something? Well, you know, there's a lot of suspicious things about you, Olivier. I remember you talking with Dad about something secret, too. You mind coming straight with me about why you're really here? To think you've become such a bloodhound for the truth. You've grown, Estelle. I've had good teachers. They'll talk already, Mr. Erebonian suspicious person. Allow me to relieve some of your worries in exchange for my silence. I would ask that you grant me that small favor. You are trouble, uh, troubled over the theft of a bandit airship, yes? I do not think that would prove to be a problem. What? Why not? You recall our earlier conversation. The fact that the bandits are led by former Erebonian nobility is an embarrassing blemish on the Empire's image. Liberal does not wish to exacerbate uh, the issue any more than we do, uh, however, as it could impede to the signing of the pact. So if anything, the theft of the ship at this exact moment conveniently sweeps aside a problem. Is that really how it would work? Well, if the bandits return to their old ways in the Burl skies, that will be a different story. I find it unlikely they would be so foolish, however. That's true. Nothing else, Joshua won't let them steal from others. Wait, how do you know they won't return to piracy? Why did you agree? <laughs> now then, I think I shall return to my seat. Would you care to join me? I think I'll pass. Hey, Olivier, can I ask you one thing before you go? Naturally. Okay, look, there's a lot I don't know about you, and you seem, and you seem to like to keep your distance from everyone. But even so, I think you're a really important part of the team. I believe, and maybe it's crazy as heck, I don't know, but I do, uh, that I can trust you, no matter what. Oh geez, that came out kinda sappy. What I'm saying is... Hey, what's with the drippy dinner plate eyes? No, it's nothing. You touch my heart, my fair Estelle. You need not fear. I shall not betray your trust, nor do I find your trust and love a burden. I give myself gladly to your cause. Love has nothing to do with it. But thanks, Olivier. Of course. So, if you'll pardon me. Hmm. The way he spun that was really, really good. Just makes me like Olivier even more. He's such a boss. Tita, what you doing? Oh, Estelle. I was kind of thinking about things. Things? Like what? Well, Estelle? Not really reliable, am I? No, you're not. Uh, you seem like you're worried about something. But is it something I, could, I can't help with? Oh. Oh man, even Tita sees right through me. I knew it. I knew it was kind of selfish to ask uh, to come along, and I'm not really much help. Uh, I couldn't even stop Ren. I'm just holding you back, aren't I? Eh, I mean, if you're not on my, on my team, then you're not really holding me back. Tita. Oh, you little dummy. You're worried about that? But, but, uh, I'm, I'm not really worried, you see. It's more like I'm confused about something. Uh, I don't think it's, or I don't think it's really something anyone can solve for me, so I just need some time to think on my own, okay? But Estelle, isn't there anything I can do to help? You bet there is. Huh? <laughs> this is so relaxing. So soft, so cuddly, so warm. I could squeeze you all day. Aw, oh, Estelle. Ida, having you along is a big help, okay? <clears throat> uh, I don't just mean your mechanical knowledge, even though that's part of it. 
Just seeing you smile cheers me up a lot. Oh. Even Ren looked like uh, she had a lot of fun when she was playing with you, right? Now, maybe that was all just an act to fool us, uh, so she could do evil Ouroboros stuff or something. But you know what? Somehow, I can't believe it was all a lie. You reached her, I know it. You really think so? Oh, I hope so. There's that smile. Excellent. Your smile is the best, you know. Now, you're also cute and huggable uh, when you're all sniffly and sad, but... Oh, Estelle. Thank you, Estelle. Thank you. I'm gonna go back to my seat, okay? Okay, see you in a bit. Goodbye. I want to wait until the chapter ends before the market. The... Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to talk to all of them. Let's talk to Zin. Estelle, where'd you disappear off to? I just went to get some fresh air. I see. So I heard we'll be landing in a town called Roland on our way. That's your hometown, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Well, to be specific about it, our house is just a bit outside the city limits. Dad wanted it that way, apparently. Interesting. A house built by Master Cassius must be, a, must be quite a place. I don't know about that. I mean, I'm not sure if I'd say it's fabulous or anything, but it is really comfy. It holds uh, lots of memories for me of Dad, Mom, and Joshua, too. I see. No, Zin, it's okay, really. If we were staying in Roland, I'd invite you over. Next time, for sure. I'll look forward to it. By the way, Estelle, when we arrive in Bose, would you mind accompanying me on some training? Seems kind of sudden. Back at the Gransel Guildhouse, not only did I miss the sleep agent in the cookies, but I was unable to awaken myself. It's obvious I need to retrain in some areas I've been neglecting. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how good a training partner I'd be for an A-rank bracer, but if you want me, you've got me. That's settled, then. That was nice and short. Have to pass the rolling, blah, blah, blah. All right, Agate is the last one. Estelle, what's up? Uh, oh. Uh, just having my usual walk around the ship. Right. I'm kind of amazed you don't get bored with it. Why do you treat me like a hyperactive palm? Uh, we've just got time before we hit bows, that is, is all. Uh... Enough time for a quick nap, at least. So Bo's up next, huh? Ruan Zeiss Gransel. Wonder what the society will try throwing at us next. Yeah. Nothing would be the best answer, but I have a feeling we won't be that lucky. You too, huh? Well, let's hit the ground running and get the investigation those bandits... Or, get to investigating those bandits once we land, yeah? Wait, what? Why the surprise? It's possible they're working for the society. You said it yourself, remember? Yeah, I did, but... Come to think of it, I don't think that's all that likely, you know? Yeah, it's sort of stupid. I mean, we fought them a number of times, right? They didn't really seem to be uh, the kind of baby eaters the society usually brings on, I think. Well, whatever. I'm sure we'll hear the details from old Lugrin, Lugran, Lugrin, uh, when we get to Bose. Yeah, yeah, we will. All right. Uh, thank you for flying with us today. We'll be arriving in Roland shortly. Please be aware of the turbulence. Blah 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 blah. Oh, hey. You should probably you should probably find your seat, Estelle. It's really dangerous to stand during the landing like this. Oh, okay. Thank you for flying with us today. Passengers depart in Roland. Please check in to ensure you haven't left behind. Ah. Uh, Oh, this is a little unexpected. Huh? Oh my. What in the name of Gehenna? How could we have entered a cloud at this altitude? We didn't enter a cloud, sir. We're descending. This doesn't seem like a cloud, though. It's more like... Captain, transmission from Roland. Uh, air traffic control. The city and surrounding area has been engulfed in a deep fog. What? There's only one person I know who can conjure up a fog like this. What the heck? 
Wow, it's completely white. Did we enter a cloud bank? Possibly. Or this also seems impossibly low to be a cloud. Uh, is this usual when landing an airship? I sure as heck have never seen anything like this. Nor have I. Ladies and gentlemen, please um, remain calm. We received word from Roland that a deep fog has appeared over the entirety of the city and surrounding area. Air Control is currently preparing searchlights to aid our landing. Thank you for your patience. Fog? Roland does get fog, but it usually just like a thin fuzz, isn't it? Yes, I don't ever remember seeing it this thick. This really worries me. <clears throat> Alright, nice landing there. Mr. The pilot. You know, you prepare for these conditions. Maybe not specifically these conditions, but, you know, you did a good job. Well done. You have done well. Holy, it's completely white. Yeah, I can't see anything. Looks like the Port Authority is grounding all flights until the flog, uh, flog, fog clears. I think we'll want to visit the guild house here. Thought so too, huh? Why? This fog is deep and strange enough that even you and Sherazard comment on it, Estelle. It's possible the society is behind this, somehow. Only Roland and Bose remain unmolested by, that, by their hands. It is possible their next experiment shall be here, then, not in Bose. <clears throat> Alright, we're not leaving it for last. And there it is, the Mist Demon's Target. Alright, I guess it's not going to be... Well, I guess that particular person could be the Mist Demon, but I doubt it. I don't remember that person's title. Anyways, I'm going to mark this.